So Julio Cesar Chavez has comments about the Munguia and Canelo fight coming up, and he says a lot, a lot of comments. You know, he he agrees. You know, if y'all if y'all don't know it by now, uh, most most of your favorite fighter or promoter or platform or whatever you want to say, they agree with what I say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if everybody know it or not. They mostly, most of the quotes I be reading, they, it's some stuff I done already said six months ago. But we're going to go move on. But uh, Julio Cesar Chavez says that Munguia is a, has a good chance against Canelo. You know what I'm saying? He says that Munguia is strong. He's young. He's fighting the best, and I see a lot of progress in each fight. And with Freddie Roach in his corner, I have a lot of confidence in Munguia. And Canelo is the favorite. But Canelo is a favorite, though. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, and I've always said that, uh, well, it's one thing he said recently. He said that he feels like Canelo is a good fighter, but he's not great. He said good, but not great. Now, we do have great fighters in Boston right now, right? So, I know people will say, well, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez lost to Canelo. So he's good, but he's not great. Well, Chavez said that he thinks that Canelo lost to Triple G in the first first fight. Chavez felt like Canelo lost the first fight against Triple G, so people got to explain all those things. It's not like these are some new things that's being discussed, but and Chavez lost to Canelo, so him saying that doesn't make him look any more better. And he was on uh, performance and had all the other stuff, so he doesn't look him make him look any better. He knows that. But see, but he also knows, like, man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's how Chavez is looking at it. Chavez is like, man, I could have been in the same position he was. You know what I'm saying? I could have just went around him and not even fought him. That's how Chavez is looking at it. But also, he's looking at it like he's telling the honest truth. He's like, I don't think he's great. I just think he's good. That's not something that I got. I can't tell uh, uh, Julio uh, Cesar Chavez Jr. I can't tell Chavez Jr., hey, man, you know, I, Canelo great because of this reason. This reason. Chavez like, bro, I'm on his resume. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to call Canelo great, he would have been on the resume. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> but I don't want to be looked at as, oh, yeah, man, you know, I fought Canelo, so, yeah, he must be great because he fought me. No, nah, he's not even looking at it like that. He's like, yeah, I, people don't understand. I throw my own stuff under the bus. You know what I'm saying? He said, I throw my own stuff under the bus. So I definitely like how that's. Bro, I definitely like how that goes, man. In that situation, Canelo, man, he's – people don't look at him as great, man, as far as how we seen right now. I told y'all for the last couple of months, Mexico has spoken, man. I know everybody like, well, you know, Canelo got a lot of fans. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. What I don't – what I care about is the truth. And the truth I'm hearing from Mexico itself is, nah, what he got going on right now, you fight Munguia, uh, we look at Munguia as the guy who's challenging himself. Think about that. They look at Munguia as the guy who's challenging himself. They don't look at Canelo as the guy who's ch uh, challenging himself. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Now, when you sitting up here like, yeah, Monkey, we're going to do this. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Chavez, all these guys, they know a lot more than I do. And from what I've seen, that's not it. Not the move, not it. It's not working out the way they thought it would. But overall, you know what I'm saying? We got no problem with that. Um, But I told people, after this Fandora and Tim Zoo fight, it's made it worse. Because I didn't think, I knew the F Tim Zoo and Fandora fight, I'm telling you, it made it worse. That fight being as big as it was, with the fights being amazing, all the cards, 
bro, that car was nothing but Mexican, bro. And Canelo was he was nowhere around because they they can't afford to pay all those guys and have Canelo. Like, bro, come on, man. Canelo could have been on that car. It would have been amazing with him and Benavidez. That would have been the best car of all time. But you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the end of the day, you can't make things like that happen because certain situations. Now you got people explaining in the media what we already know, bro. Canelo signed the fight already. We already know what's going on. Now you got guys still explaining why Canelo. You got people say he was forced to fight and stuff, bro. Nobody forced him to do anything. He's a man. Nobody forced no man to do nothing. There's laws out here for that. So at the end of the day, yeah, he uh, he's basically in a position now where he's not considered great, bro. I've been telling people that. I said, bro, if he don't take this, it's going to damage him. And it's already did. It's already kicked in. It's already happening now. Mexico has spoken. You know what I'm saying? American fan, they so behind, like 1980, and they still like, yeah, you know, Canelo, he still pay per view numbers. Bro, nobody. <laughs> uh, nobody cares, man. That's like saying, yeah, man, Star Wars still did $100 million. It's Star Wars. Of course it's going to do $100 million. You know what I'm saying? 100 million people know about it. That's like people saying, yeah, Canelo still did that many. Of course. Everybody knows him. He's been fighting. He fought Floyd. And I heard he's still not worldwide. So what are we talking about? And I'm talking about worldwide. I ain't talking about 600K. 600K ain't worldwide. 600K ain't worldwide. That ain't nationwide. But yeah, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.